In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today I am talking his master, a good friend of mine, Ambrose Casey, of Kim, who will be buried in Kim today. May God grant him eternal rest. So as we gather to celebrate on this sixth Sunday of Easter, we turn to the Lord and we ask Almighty God to guide us, to direct us on the right road, and to give to all the great gift of the presence of God in everything they do. Lord Jesus, we come here today to pray. I ask Almighty God that our prayers here today will help people and unite people, Lord and mercy. Lord Jesus, we come to ask your favour to get rid of this virus at this moment, to banish it from our sight, Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, we are gathered here in your name, here to pray and be with you, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and earth peace the people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty Father, that we may celebrate with heart, heart and devotion these days of joy, which we honour in the memory of the risen Christ, and that we may relive in remembrance. We may always hold on to what we do. As we offer the Mass of Ambrose Casey, we make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Reading today is the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went to a Samaritan town and proclaimed Christ to them. The people united in welcoming the message that Philip preached, either because they had heard of the miracles he worked, or because they saw them for themselves. There were, for example, unclean spirits that came shrieking out of many who were possessed, and several paralyzed, paralytics, and cripples were cured. As a result, there was great rejoicing in that town. When the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them, and they went down there and prayed for the Samaritans who received the Holy Spirit. For as yet, he had not come down on any. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. They laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. The response to the psalmist, Alleluia. Cry out, reply to God all the earth, or sing to the glory of his name, or render him glorious praise. Say to him, for tremendous your deeds. Alleluia. Before you all the earth shall bow, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the works of the Lord, tremendous his deeds among men. Alleluia. He turned and seized the dry land, they passed through the river dry shot. Then our joy then begin. He rules forever by his might. Amen. Hallelujah. Come and hear all of your God. I will tell you what he did for my soul. Let's be God who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold his love from me. The second reading is from the letter of St. Peter. Reverence the Lord in all your heart. And all this have your answer ready for people who ask the reason for the hope that you have all had. But give them importance and respect and with a clear conscience so that those who stand for you, when you are living a good life in Christ, may be proved wrong in their accusations that they bring. And if it is the will of God that they should suffer, it is better to suffer for doing right than for doing wrong. Why? Christ himself, innocent though he was, has died only once for sin. 
died from the gift to lead us to God. In the body, he was put to death. In the spirit, he was raised to life. This is the word of the Lord. Ask for recognition. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus said, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And my Father will love him. And we shall come to him. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. I shall ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth, whom the world can never receive. Since it neither sees nor knows him, but you know him, because he is in you. He is with you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come back to you. In a short time, the world will no longer see me. But you will see me, because I live, and you live with me. On that day, you will understand that I am in the Father, and you in me, and I in you. Anyone who receives my commandments and teach them will be the one who loves me. And anyone who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and show myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Jesus tells us to love one another, as he has loved at each one of us. Our humanity has the capacity to reach out to people. Christ loved us, never changed. Jesus said, that my own job may be with you. Today's gospel contains the positive calling of people to bear good fruit, fruit that will last well. The gospel contains the positive answer and the creative call to follow the Lord. It gives direction in our life. It directs us to reach out and see the positive answer in every person's faith. As a community of faith is meant to be impossible, transforming you. We are called to live and work in such a way that the kingdom of peace and love will be shared in all our hearts. Respect for people will be cherished. Forgiveness will become a reality for all the people in the world. We have seen the goodness of people in their commitments during this crisis. The coronavirus is the new Ireland, an Ireland that sees things in sharing the talents that people have give people an opportunity to see how life can change so quickly. It is a scary time too for many, a lonely time for the old. We must pray and call for God to be with them. If ever we could pray and ask for a lady, the mother of Jesus, to help us, we would see positive results. The apostles knew that Jesus loved us. And we know that Jesus loves us too. He said, I want you to be happy forever. There is no doubt about it. The word of Jesus was, follow me. You feel it in your heart when you are following Jesus. It is like a flame that warms our soul, energizes our spirit, and supplies passion to our life. Love is our connection to God and to each other. Love is the time in which the Christian life is lived. Love one another, as Jesus said to all of us. The name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit of Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and individual. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father for all angels, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. The God not made, and substantial the Father, through him all things were made. For us men of God's salvation came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the bunch of Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again in the third day in the course of the He ascended to heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son of the Lord of Torah, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy pattern of the Holy Church. I confess him not for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the light of the words come in him. O oh God our Father, we are here today as a prayer for people in this world. We get this opportunity to set aside time for you, Lord. So today, Lord, we pray for 
all the young people of our parish, and all the young people who need the great gift of our faith to lead them in the journey. May the Lord be with all those young people. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace to hear us. We pray for the sick, especially the elderly, and all those who need of the healing power of God and the strength of the Holy Spirit in this difficult time. Lord, hear us. We pray for peace all over the world. We ask the Holy God that peace will reign and that people will live in love and in care for each other. Lord, hear us. We pray for Ambrose Casey, who died, a good friend of mine. May he rest in peace uh, today as he will be buried in King. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those young people who are sick. We pray for all of them, uh, especially Catherine and uh, all those who need the healing power of God. We ask the mighty God with them and we pray that everyone who is sick will recover. Uh, also remember Dona in a very special way. And we ask Almighty God to live today in a happy uh, gift for life, the gift of healing. Lord Jesus, we pray for you. Pray for all of us in our journey of life. It's a difficult time, so we pray whatever you are today, please send the prayer today. Lord Jesus, we pray today for help for people in their journey of life, people who are worried, people who find life difficult. Lord, be with us. Lord, be with us. We pray for the people John, who uh, died five months ago, a lovely little child has been saved in our eyes. May that be saved to grab us from our home in heaven. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless you, Lord, of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands and made, but become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our covenant. Bless you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer, through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Pray now, friends, that our sacrifice may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord receive the sacrifice from your hands, and the praise and glory be thanked for our good and the good of all the May our prayers rise with you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your gracious, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, as we offer this past grandmas, we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you will all things, whom you sent to Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, Fulfilling your will and gave to your holy people, he stretched out his hands to endure his passion, so as to break the bond of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the aims of the saints, we declare your glory as the one voice we have saved. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all hopes. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and let the willing to be passionate, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you, heaven is worthy, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Fonzie our Bishop, and all your people. Remember Ambrose, who will be called from this world to herself. Grant that Ambrose, who united with her, son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we confess the Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints, who please us throughout the ages. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus told us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace be grant us peace in our day, that by the end of your mercy we may be always free from sin, saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on the sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance to him, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world and mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world and mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world and grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. If you lovely, keep my commandments, the Lord. And I would ask the Father, and He would send you another paraclete to abide with you forever. Hallelujah. Almighty, ever living God, and God of the Master Ambrose, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, with the fruits of the past and sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of your saving praises. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. <laughs>